dog wanted, or a lovely toy. put some of them out if I wanted to do a particular dog and go, like, look at this one. And what I would do, which is there'd be no food involved, and almost what I want to do is hypnotise them into stillness. I think it's Russell Beck. So, yeah. Um, if I could just just yeah. What I would do is I'd have the dog here and I'd just, I wouldn't do this sort of fussing. I was the name of Nick and Sarah. We'd probably put it in a bridge. I'd literally just go so, you know, there. Good. Andy and Sarah, if I try and, and do that, and he tends to move his head away. Right, okay. <laughs> Um, because they've got the and um, almost what I want to do is I want to make the dog A, B, and B in the house. Gooey. Okay. Yeah. Almost Ooh. gooey in them. And then to know if my dog is like it, I then says, don't, I don't worry, be done by the new year. So I just, I so, and I want them to go, oh, no, no, no. stop. So, so that yeah, I so stroke them in a way that keeps them really still. Okay. But I've got to try and make a list. Come here, pop it. We're already up to 70 and I haven't really got round to dog people yet. Might, might be quite sort of selective. Lovely. Even so, you just go. He can initially, if he wants to pull away, even if I do that with him, until he gets used to that sweetie, that sweetie, that sweetie. So he goes, Oh, that's fair enough. I just stretch here and you do this to me. So then, when you do it with no food and you do that with him, he'll go, That's okay. And then the one that we can't do at the moment with him. Um, because if I go down with food in both hands, and that is the one where I just then go stroke down the side of his face here. And again, that's quite a nice way that if they're a little bit off centre, I can just gently just push the good. So if they're a little bit off, I can just gently, that's good. So I can actually place the dog exactly where I want them to be. 